Hey, what's up you guys? It's Noble Creation TV back to you with another exciting edition of NBA Talk. So we just want to talk about the champions, the Golden State Warriors, and what did they have to do to win the NBA title. Well, man, um, what do we start? Where do we begin? Well, basically, you know what I'm saying, in, um, against the Cavs, man, um, they were no match. They were outplayed by the Golden State Warriors. And uh, what can you say? You know, what can you say about it? Um, they got outplayed, man. You know, no matter if Bron scored 50, they still was determined to get the championship this year. And that's what we saw from the Golden State Warriors. So, you know, my, my hat goes off to the Golden State Warriors for winning the, the championship. Again, because it's hard to get a dynasty going on, but they were able to do that. And uh, they secured the championship again, and we'll be taking it back. To, we'll be taking the Larry O'Brien back to Golden State. Um, every team out there now is going to be scouting to find a way to beat the four-headed monster in Golden State, which is uh, Clay Thompson, Steph Curry, Draymond Green, and um, also uh, KD. And uh, the closest team that I see that probably would give these guys competition is the Houston Rockets. The Houston Rockets is only a couple players away from being able to contend for a title. Um, they may be one player or two players away from being able to contend for an NBA championship. And the Golden State Warriors, man, I can't believe that their biggest challenge came from the Rockets. The Rockets had a great season. Um, this year, James Harden played at an MVP level, um, all mostly all season long, and um, and I knew for for him and Chris Paul to beat Golden State, they would have to continue to play at that type of level. But when you get to the NBA Finals, and it was not competitive at all, besides the first game, um, it's just crazy, you know what I'm saying? Um, J.R. Smith with the play that is heard around the world, that everybody has done memes on, and things of that nature. Um, it's just, uh, I mean, when you really, really, really look at it, it's just like, you know, wow, you had an opportunity to seize the moment and those guys froze up, man. And they did not seize the moment. And basically where does this lead LeBron James at? Um, he's going to have to do some deep thinking on what team that he wants to play with, um, what players he's want, going to want to play with, what players are going to play with him, um, it's going to be a big summer for him as far as what he's going to do because all eyes will be on LeBron James to see if he remains in Cleveland. But um, to me, I'm just thinking that I think his time is up in Cleveland. He promised to bring them a championship, um, and he delivered on it. And what else more can you say? You, you guys got a championship. Some teams will never get a championship, and you guys got one, Cleveland. So hats off to you guys for winning uh, the 2016 championship. But the Golden State Warriors, man, is just a well-oiled machine, man. Those guys, the bench players come in and they do what they have to do. They're not asked to do a lot, but they just come in to make plays. And guys like Sean Levinson, JaVale McGee, who, who everybody call him Shaq and the Fool, JaVale McGee, he showed up. Um, he didn't have too many uh, Shaq and the Fool moments. He, uh, he played like he was, you know what I'm saying, a, a very solid player out there. So it's going to see it's going to be very interesting, guys, to see what the Golden State Warriors are going to do as far as uh, trying to get a, a triple triple crown going on. Um, um, it's going to be definitely um, the time as the time goes on. What will Clay Thompson do, and what is, what will his contract be like if he decides to stay with the Golden State Warriors, or will Clay Thompson elect to go with the Lakers in 2019? So it's going to be a lot of things going on, man. But most of the teams will be trying to stack their teams to compete against the uh, Golden State Warriors. Um, Kevin Durant is a, a great shooter. Um, the best shooter in the league, Steph Curry, hands down, definitely. And him and Clay, And Clay's right behind him. Um, and Draymond Green with the hustle plays. You got to have a team that's kind of built like that. You got to have some shooters. And then you got to have your guy that's a hustle guy, that's a glue guy, that does it all. He's like a Swiss Army knife, and that would be Draymond Green. And um, definitely, man, congratulations to the Warriors um, on winning 
um, the 2018 NBA championship. But I know um, they're going to be the hunted now. Um, whereas first they used to go out and look to hunt. But now they're going to be the hunted team. So we're going to see, guys, what the other NBA teams that we'll, we'll be able to do in this season coming up to be able to compete with the Golden State Warriors. And as always, guys, I'd like to thank you for watching. Thank you for your viewership. And please subscribe to Noble Creation TV. Peace.